Hello, hello, hello. This is me, Chef Ranveer Brar, and I'm right here to take you on a journey of India in 21 recipes. I'll be right back. So today, let me take you to the kingdom of Mysore, um, a kingdom, a royal dynasty that has given India many dishes. And one such dish is Bisi Belebat. So I've soaked some rice, peanuts, salt. Let's put the rice to cook first. A little bit of butter or ghee. And water three things spice lentils and rice rice is gone now let's finish the spice that's the trickiest bit lentils one two just a little bit of ghee so we're toasting the lentils on a slow flame while we are at it I've added the cumin I've added the coriander seeds and if you think this is too much ghee, don't worry about it. Remember, lentils are lean. They are skinny protein. So when you blend this, all the ghee is going to vanish. So the reason I chose to cook this dish is because it belongs to this beautiful princely state of Mysore. Mysore has not just given a dish like Bisi Be Lebhat. It has given the world the gift of the Mysore Masala Dosa. The original masala dosa was invented in Mysore. It has given the world uh, a dish called Mysore Pak, which is a sweet meat made from just three ingredients. Water, chickpea flour, and ghee. And Mysore has given the world Bisi Be Le Huliana or Bisi Be Le Bhat. In fact, this dish is like a 300 year old dish as per recorded history but there are historians who believe the dish to be at least 1000 years old. While this combination of rice and lentils is not new to India, from the most basic form of khichdi uh, to pongal to just rasam rice, sambar rice, dal chawal or bisi bele, bath, it's always been around. It's just that it's been celebrated in different manners and this combination definitely deserved a celebration on our journey of 21 recipes. We add sesame seeds and poppy seeds. And the gas has been perpetually slow. We'll keep it like that. A very important ingredient to the spice mix is cinnamon. And the rice is also done. Asafoetida, turmeric. You could add some fried chilies to it, or you could just add some chili powder. Some desiccated coconut. On a real slow flame, keep stirring it. Add a bit of salt and you're all set. Now this goes for grinding and when I come back, we'll finish the lentils and done. Normally it's a painstakingly long process. I have developed this recipe uh, in coordination with one of my friend's mom and this is how she's taught me. Saying so Ranveer, cook the rice separately, cook the lentils separately. Just make the masala and keep. Like this masala will stay in your refrigerator for at least a couple of months. We've taken care of the spice, the rice. Now let's take care of the lentils and then mix it all together. That is all that it is. And for that, let's start with our Swiss modern office knife and slice our shallots. And then green peas, beans, Carrots, if I haven't told you already, I'm absolutely in love with the balance of Victorinox knives and the walnut handle that 
the Swiss modern collections come up with. It just sits so well in my hand, feels like an extension of me. You know, cutting, uh, a lot of people say cutting should be an effortless job. I always say cutting should be an effort that we should love to make. There you go. Hing or asafoetida. You could also add a little bit of mustard seeds and fenugreek seeds before you added the shallots. Curry leaves. Just enough water to cook the veggies. Because we're going to add the lentils later, right? Boiled lentils. I'm going to add a little turmeric. You can add the turmeric while you're boiling the dal or you can just add it later as well. So basically all that I'm waiting for is for the veggies to cook. Because I'm going to put uh, tamarind in it. And when I put tamarind, the veggies won't really cook as fast because the acidity of the tamarind. Beautiful. Only the last thing that's left to cut is tomatoes. I'm not showing off my wooden handled tomato knife. I'm just telling you it's a beautiful, beautiful tool and I'm absolutely, absolutely in love with it. Beautiful. Now is the time to add water, tamarind pulp. It's basically just tamarind that has been soaked in water and the pulp has been squeezed. And now the spice. Remember the spice has a lot of lentil powder in it. And you see how it is? Remember I told you that you're feeling there's a lot of ghee but all that's going to vanish because Lentils are lean protein, right? Now is a good time to add the peas. Oh, smells like bisibele. Couldn't have explained it to you simpler. Bisi bele bhat. Spicy lentil rice. And these boiled peanuts that are boiled with the rice, they are heavenly. That's it. We just let it cook together. That's also very, very important. And while we're letting it cook together, we're going to add the tomatoes as well for the slight sourness that sometimes the tamarind cannot give. Again, the tamarind bit is completely up to you. If you like your bisibele bhat a little too sour, add a little bit more. Now we need to let it cook for at least 10 minutes. If you have 15 minutes, nothing like it, but at least 10 minutes. Let me take 30 seconds and talk to you about caring for your knife. It's very important to have a good towel if you have a good knife. A towel that's dry and absorbent. And the best way to clean your knife is just place it under running water, spine side up and rub it with your hands without getting them too close to the edge. Take them, take a clean towel and wipe it dry and place it. If the towel is not clean, you might scratch your knife and you also might damage the sharpness. That's why I said a clean dry towel is as important as a good knife if you really want to take care of it. You know, when you're finishing a rice and lentil combination, you don't need ghee. You need a lot of ghee. That's one thing that unites us across India. Right from Khichdi to Bisibele to Pongal. Ghee. We let the mustard splutter. The chilies have to become nice and crisp. Borderline burnt. Cashew is very important. So while the peanut gets boiled, the cashew gets toasted. Fantastic. 
looks like bisi bele bhat smells like bisi bele bhat makes me feel like bisi bele bhat you know what i smell i smell 300 years of history i smell mysore and i smell the beauty of this idea this country called india which has many such secret recipes with long histories just waiting to be discovered and i'd be happy to discover them along with you only in india in 21 recipes i'm ranveer brar and i'll be back